Welcome back to Max Garage. Today I'm going to show you the wiring harness routing in a 99 CK3 chassis ski -Doo. I think it's pretty much the same for the formulas and the mocks. Um, this is kind of for me as I swap harnesses over so I have a reference to go on. But if you need to do the same thing, you will also have a reference to go on. I'm going to use this 1999 Formula 3 uh, 700 triple and the routing should be more or less the same on all of them. So I guess we'll start out right up here at the hood. Inside of the airbox mess, you're going to kind of probably not be able to see it, but that's a generalized routing on how that goes up inside there. Maybe I'll take another video once I start to swap it over. Um, that leaves the airbox area comes down is zip tied boom 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 and then it tucks underneath here it then rolls kind of down underneath the hinge area through these two retaining clips and that one and then it comes down and curls up and the connectors sit right here and then they just kind of dangle from there it goes up behind this bracket, twists underneath the toolbox, through this bracket, zip tie there, behind this guard here, zip tie onto the sway bar, which this is actually a fixed tube, the sway bar moves inside of this tube, so it zip ties onto the sway bar tube. Zip ties onto the motor plate, right there. Zip ties down to the belly pan around this particular wire here. Uh, the module is already out of place, so that's kind of is what it is. There is, however, a bolt right down in there that is for a connector on the harness loom. So the harness kind of tucks back underneath here and plugs into the CDI which mounts into this box. As we go back the other direction, we have a zip tie onto the CDI box there which this harness then sits nicely up on top of that. The uh, it runs damn it. it runs underneath the steering linkage. If you turn the steering to the uh, like you're making a right turn, it actually lifts this up a little bit, gives a little bit of extra room. It looks like those touch a little bit there. Uh, goes underneath this bracket, zip tie here, zip tie here. Then it goes through a bracket here, zip tied in there. The oil line and the fuel line is all zip tie around right there. Uh, as we go up higher, there is a clamp right in here. There's a hose clamp that connects the coolant line and the wiring harness. And this one seems to be kind of on the tight side. Uh, let's switch sides. As it comes up, the wiring harness splits between, it comes back behind the fuel line and the coolant overflow slips back gets zip tied to the coolant overflow before it gets zip tied to this plate actually that is a nope that's a zip tie to that plate through the hole kind of to the top side then it goes into the uh, crank trigger right there and that six pin harness to the cdi it may be a four pin if you've got a 98. Um, also it's kind of harder to see but as it splits off I'm not sure exactly where it splits off down here, but there's a wiring, or there's a harness right there that it runs down to the voltage regulator and it comes in and connects. Connects to the voltage right regulator. It's got a zip tie on right there and then it sits underneath there. This is a slide lock for this connector. So it pulls off this way. Uh, this comes up and gets zip tied right here. So it gets zip tied onto that plate like that. And the 
Uh, the Formula One or the the Mach One that I had also has a wiring harness that comes forward through here and just basically zip ties onto this brace. All right, so that's that. As we continue to follow the harness up, it goes back under the gas tank. Where it goes under the gas tank, it's got connection for the fuel gauge and for the tail lights. It then goes through a bracket right there, which kind of switches it out to the back side of the uh, the sled. This little bracket here is for your reverse beeper on the RER ones, and that goes down. The wiring kind of comes in between the recoil and the brake line. As we go up, we get to a we get up above the we get up above the oil tank and we start to go across. Now some of these zip ties that you'll see here are involved in the uh, heated shield operation, but you can see that it's zip tied to that tab right back in there. Um, it's also zip tied right above the steering stem to a bunch of other stuff. And we get over into this mess here where we've got our connections to everything on the handlebars. Kind of routed that direction. So this is the bar end over here. The chassis end is on this side. So bars, chassis if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here, right up in there, that's our uh, tether mount or the DP, whatever this thing is, DESS mount, um, and it goes over to the ignition key over on this side. Now this wire that runs down here, this is heated shield, so I can basically ignore that. Uh, back up underneath there, we've got our and the thumb warmers so get a good view of them can't entirely tell which one is hooked up on the top and which one's hooked up on the board bottom but over here on this side same deal that's the that's the back side of the thumb warmers right up in there and then if you have one the uh, RER button is also over on this side. So if you're trying to wire up a CK3 chassis sled, especially a 99 or newer, I think they're all pretty much the same after that. The 98s were a little bit different. That is, I believe, a relatively unmessed with sled. So um, that should be pretty much what it takes. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you later.